So yesterday, Gaffi is the final three match shortlist for the African Football of the Year award. And guess what? Two Nigerian Super League players have been mentioned: Ademola Lukman and Victor Boniface. And then we have the third person, uh, Brahim Diaz, who's a Moroccan international. But you know, without too much to, without long talks, uh, I'm sure we can all agree that Ademola Lukman is the rightful uh, candidate to clinch this award. You know, it's crystal clear with, with everything that he did last season uh, for his club and also for for his country, for the national team, uh, the Super Eagles. With all due respect to the other candidates, you know, of course, we know that Brian Diaz did, uh, did well, you know, with, uh, with, with uh, Real Madrid, uh, especially as a team, you know, uh, winning, the, winning the La Liga and also winning the Champions League. And uh, he also had some meaningful contributions, you know, to his team. And uh, just to give you, you know, uh, the just to give you his performances from last season, he played uh, in the league alone. He played 31 matches and then uh, hit eight goals and six assists, you know, for Real Madrid. And uh, you know that was that was you know it. And then he won, as I said, won the uh, won two major trophies, you know, with Real Madrid. And then for Victor Boniface, it was, you know, it was also something similar. He had a really great uh, season last season with Bayern Leverkusen. Of course, uh, they they went on to win the league unbeaten. Uh, first team to ever do that, you know, in the, the Benjamin Bundesliga, that's Bayern Leverkusen. And then Boniface was extremely important in this run for Bayern Leverkusen. He started the season really well, you know, uh, scored some really important goals for Xavier Alonso's team uh, for the first half of the season and, uh, you know, uh, he was unfortunate to be hit by injury towards, his, you know, to the, towards the latter part of the season, but for the periods that he played, he's, he made 23 appearances, scored 14 goals, and uh, had eight assists before the injury hit, uh, which of course is the reason why you know we are seeing his name as one of the final three uh, shortlisted candidates. But uh, you know, as a team with Bayern Leverkusen, he also achieved a lot. You know, winning uh, the German Bundesliga for the first time. You know, with the club and in a grand style actually winning the league without being defeated and then also he went to the Europa League final where he lost to his compatriot Lukman uh, not just losing to Lukman but due to Lukman's brilliance he lost because Lukman was exceptional in that final he completely won the game single handed against the Boniface uh, Leverkusen so that brings us to the main man, Ademola Lukman, you know, and uh, what he did last season. What he did last season is just mind-blowing, uh, you know. Uh, it's not just about being a Nigerian. People or uh, football fans that are not Nigerians, they heard about Ademola Lukman. He announced himself, you know, last season because of the magnificent efforts, solo efforts I did. I know Atlanta actually, you know, were... On point last season as a team, but Ademola Lukman on a personal level was at a beast mode, you know, uh, last season, and he's still continuing to be at this level currently, even as we speak this season, and the stats shows it. So uh, for for Lukman, last season was a really you know great success for him. He had uh, some fantastic you know, go go record for the team. He played 31 games, uh, scored 11 goals, and had 7 assists. All his goals were really, really important. They were vital, you know, vital goals. You know, and these statistics of 11 goals in 31 matches, 7 assists, is just for league alone, uh, you know, which, uh, which was really, really fantastic. He was the best player of Atlanta for 2023-2024 season, he was, uh, uh, you know, he took Atlanta to the finals of the Europa League, won the Europa League single-handedly by scoring a hat-trick, 
you know, in the final. Uh, he also went to Coppa Italia final, losing narrowly, you know, by Longo to Juventus. Uh, what else? You know, he went to the finals with his Nigerian Super Eagles and was one of the best players in the tournament, you know, scoring a number of fantastic goals, you know, through the, uh, through the journey, you know, to the final. So these are some of the highlights of these players and their performances from last season. And there's no doubt, you know, within me that Ademola Lukman is the man that is well positioned to win this award. But let's hear your opinion in the, in the comment section uh, about this award. Of course, the award is going to be held later in December on the 16th. And uh, the venue for the award is going to be Marrakesh, a city in Morocco. Uh, I'm sure you still recall that uh, the, the current holder of the African Football of the Year award is Victor Osimen, who actually won it you know, the last time after he had a really fantastic time with Napoli. Propelling them to this uh, Syria A, uh, to the Syria A title. That's the Scudetto. After that is something years of you know them doing it. So you know it's going to be very nice to see another Nigerian clinch onto this uh, award because uh, it's something that you know is, is is very important. You know that a Nigerian wins it back to back. It's really really important, and it's not just about that but it's also for the fact that you know it's a deserved uh, it's a deserved one you know uh, if Lukman wins it but we'll see what happens you know just so that CAF organizes this thing in a fair play in a uh, in a very transparent way and then let the best uh, player win for that one but moving away from that just guys uh, let's talk about uh, Gift Urban. Gift Urban seems to be in a bit of situation right now with Olympic Lyon and as a matter of fact he's reportedly been banished from the first team of the Lyon team and this is very disappointing because you know uh, you know I've talked about Gift Urban a couple of times on this channel and how he, he's not been uh, having the best you know the best of days with this Lyon side he actually moved uh, to Lyon last season with the hopes of uh, reviving his career and getting to that top level but he's not really been having enough playing time and he had been working on getting enough playing time but the recent uh, news right now you know that actually just broke yesterday is really really depressing because uh, the, the club has now decided to banish him from first team duties and what's the reason they are saying that it's a, it's an uh, it's a reason of stubbornness, reason of indiscipline from the stubborn side. It wasn't only him that was actually banned from the first team duty. I was. Uh, it's also reported that Wilfred Zaha uh, has also been banned from the first team duties of of uh, Lyon. Uh, it said that that they were instructed to train with. Uh, with, with you know with the players who have not been playing regularly for the team and they refused you know they refused to do that and for that purpose the club decided to uh, to ban to demote them you know to stop them from training with the senior team and you know reduce them to the level of training with the youth team uh, just to punish them uh, how long is this going to last we don't know for sure but you know uh, it's something that i don't know could take a while but we hope that he's able to you know resolve all of this with his team and uh, hopefully get back into the first team